You have one? Yeah, yeah. All right, good afternoon. Look here. Hey, share this call with someone else. Uh, I'm going to wait till a few people get on. But this is Mayor Barty here in the city of Port Arthur coming to you live. I haven't done it in a while, but I'm coming to you live right now. So please, if you, when, as you come on, share it. See if you can share it with somebody so we can get some uh, some viewers. And it, okay, okay, no, it, it's, it's, it's going, they're going to start adding, they're going to start adding. Okay, got a couple on, and I, I, have, I have my great assistants in all the on the other side, so, but they're going to let me know what's going on in, in, in a minute, but uh, if we can start sharing it, and uh, this, if, if I, I have some good information that we're going to begin to talk about in a few moments. So that's uh, I, I appreciate you being on. Don't, okay, don't go. Don't don't leave. Don't leave. Just trying to get some folk to come on, and uh, when, when when they get a representative number in in a few moments, we're going to begin the uh, actual uh, live uh, chat with uh, Mel Barty. Okay, so hey, if you can, share it, like it and share it, and, and see if we can get some others on because I have some real good news for you and some good information that uh, I know is going to be beneficial for us uh, in Port Arthur, even on the day and even uh, in some days yet to come, okay? But uh, we, we are doing good uh, coming on, so let's, let's see if you keep like it, share it. Hey, tell someone else, look here, come on, man. Uh, Mel Barty is getting ready to talk about something, and it's important what I'm getting ready to speak on. So I would appreciate your sharing it and asking others to come on so we can all get this information at the same time. And it's some good information, and we're going to get the right information right now. So they can just come on. Let's, let's, let's give it a couple more minutes, and as soon as my producer tells me I, I might have enough, we're going to, be, we're going to begin, okay? But... Uh, Again, I thank you all for uh, even taking the time to come on right now. It's uh, it warms my heart, okay, and it's uh, some information that's going to be real, real beneficial for us here in the city of uh, of, of of Port Arthur. So if you all get you all come on and and uh, let's see let's see if we if we can get a good a good representative group on here in a moment, okay? So. I need you to come on, and uh, we we can if you would share it, like it, and share it, and uh, I know that it, it, it's going to be it's going to be good for you, okay? So give it a few more minutes, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll actually begin. But uh, I have I have several of of you on, we, and I haven't been on in a while, so uh, yeah. But hey. I appreciate you for being on uh, right now, and it's, it's about five eleven. So in about in about two or three minutes, we're going to actually really really begin. If you would just hold on, because I'm trying to get everyone on, so that everybody would really have the right information the first time, and then I know folk will be able to replay this over and over. But uh, it, it, it's 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 real uh, beneficial and helpful that you would. Uh, you would come on, and we would be able to uh, share with you some good, good things. Uh, I think that that that, that you may uh, really, really, really want to hear. I hope you've had a real lovely Sunday. Uh, the weather is is actually uh, real nice and beautiful, and uh, also uh, we've had. Uh, some rain and some other things, but basically we've had some real good weather. So I hope you've had a good Sunday. Uh, you know, I'm a Christian, so I hope you've gone to a house of prayer today and 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 and, and done what what uh, what needs to be done. So look, my producer is telling me to go ahead. I can I can actually uh, begin. So right now, what I want to do is uh, welcome you to uh, a live chat with uh, Mayor Barchi here in the great city of Port Arthur, Texas. Now, with that in mind, uh, I'd like to begin by telling you, I'm, uh, recently I flew back in on yesterday, returned from uh, Chicago, Illinois, where uh, 
I actually represented uh, my city, and I actually represented the state, state, entire state of Texas at the NBC Leo Summer Conference, which is the National Black Caucus of Local Elected Officials, of which I am the national chaplain of that organization, which has members from around these United States of America. And uh, we are we are we're a group that deals with issues that are peculiar to the African American leadership uh, in America, okay? And it's, it's something that we got to continue to address because each uh, ethnic group or uh, there are racial groups and uh, even other types, other groups with other uh, issues uh, from gender to um, ethnicity have other groups. but. NBC Leo is the largest and actually the oldest uh, advocacy group under the NLC umbrella, which is the National League of Cities. And we are the largest group that is actually exists under the umbrella of the National League of Cities. And uh, we are, we are we're very happy and I'm happy to be a part of that group. And I pay homage again because there was a national president from our immediate area in uh, Councilman Aldwin Samuels over in the city of Beaumont who served the city of, who is still serving and has served the city of Beaumont for a, a significant number of years and he is a national, a past national president of NBC Leo. So we want to pay uh, a homage and give uh, honor and recognition to him and his service to NBC Leo. And at that meeting, there were several topics that were actually discussed. I focused in on housing and housing for homelessness and other issues. So in the near future, we're going to be able to uh, begin a discussion, further discussions on how we will be able to handle some of the things for homelessness and also some issues on dealing with the possibility of home ownership for individuals within our community. And they, was, they were actually giving information for communities around this great country and uh, how banking institutions are being able to assist in that uh, endeavor. So we're going to have to be able to uh, share some information in the coming weeks on that as well. But I come to you today with uh, a concern that I actually have, and that concern is the actual uh, occurrences that happened on last evening here in the city of Port Arthur. I happen to have been at the Bob Bar Civic Center here in the city of Port Arthur, uh, and I was there uh, as an invited guest, but I was actually working as well because I was there actually uh, soliciting and receiving signatures for the uh, petition that, that that I have that 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 is uh, being. Uh, signed here in the city of Port Arthur by registered voters in the city of Port Arthur for the consideration of a charter change on the number of terms and consecutive terms that the mayor and city council persons can actually serve. I'll talk about that in a few moments, but that's why I was there on last evening and the class of 2014, students whom I actually had an opportunity to teach some of those students when I taught American government here in PAISD at uh, Memorial High School, and this was their 10th uh, year class reunion. And there were some things that actually occurred there that would be of concern. I know that we are dealing with generational uh, generational differences, if you will, and those differences would actually be the ages. I think, you know, we're, they are called Generation X. Uh, I think I'm a part of the baby boomers, and you know, everybody else is somebody else's uh, whatever their generations, why, whatever, it doesn't matter. But right now we have a serious, serious consideration. I'm not going to call it a big problem, but I would call it a consideration or a situation. And it, it's made itself known here in the city of Port Arthur. It happened even on last evening. And I said I had a, a uh, if you would call it a ringside seat, observing it. The very first thing was there were individuals there observing and actually celebrating their 10th year class reunion. Now, 
either some of their guests or maybe even some of the class members made the decision that they would partake of libations and other, uh, uh, I think, intoxicants that would cause them to actually uh, not be able to make decisions as coherently as they probably would had they not been uh, indulging in whatever those, those elements were. But because of indulgence there, uh, they began to display a behavior that was uh, and is uh, not conducive to uh, what I know that poor Arthurans actually, actually embrace. And saying, saying that, I'm saying that we just, I think, went sort of overboard, if you will, on behaviors. Now, as I said, it may have been some of the class members or even some of their guests, but Port Arthur has the distinction of being a reunion, a class reunion city. I mean, and this is something that I have actually seen and observed from my years being a young lad here in the city of Port Arthur. It actually made you want to graduate from high school so you could participate in a class reunion, you know. And the, the norm has always been, you know, you do 10 years and at, at that 10th year is when everybody returns home, gets together. Most folk have done some good things. Some have done some things, done some things. Everybody, some folk are still searching, trying to find themselves. But at that juncture, and this is what was being celebrated on last evening, it is a celebratory occasion. Now, be, from the indulgence with uh, libations and maybe other uh, intoxicants, uh, some of the behaviors again cause some uh, concern. The concern would be there were uh, policemen there. Port Arthur's finest. I, I observed our police, and I want to pay uh, respect, homage, and honor again to our chief of police, uh, uh, Chief uh, Tim Durso and his uh, command staff and each of the officers who were present and who were even called to the Port Arthur Civic Center. I observed those officers with great, great levels of tolerance. Actually tolerating individuals that in several places would have been arrested. But they did not arrest these individuals. I actually saw them escort some of the individuals out. And a minute or two later, the individuals were coming back in. Okay, they were being escorted out because they had partaken in some of the uh, 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 joy juices that were available. And then I observed individuals uh, beginning to uh, I guess attack each other uh, in, 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 in some ways uh, probably because they were uh, a little inebriated and they could not make the right decisions or they decided that they would have uh, some type of physical confrontation because of something maybe that happened 10 years ago when they were in school. I'm, I'm not sure what, 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 what the uh, detonator was but these behaviors were not uh, conducive to having a celebratory occasion, which leads me to why we're here today. And with the uh, city of Port Arthur being a place where class reunions are one of our great, great functions, and class reunions being something that actually economically helps our city. Folk come in and, you know, they go to the stores where libations are sold. So we make sales tax off of that. Some folk come in, they stay in the hotels. We get hotels, use tax and other things. Then they uh, buy uh, decorations. They buy uh, food items and everything else and even clothing for themselves for these occasions. So economically, it's, it's, it's a windfall for the city of Port Arthur. Okay, and then it's just the actual joy that actually occurs while we are having the, 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 the reunions and the rekindling of friendships and seeing old friends and acquaintances. Well, this is what we had last night. We had some activity that I know probably should not have been, or I know it should not have been. Now, 
with that being said, the level of tolerance that our police officers actually practice, I commend them. I observe them doing a great job of not trying to harm citizens, not trying to hurt citizens. And I saw some citizens being a little bit, or not a little bit, a whole lot, a large bit of disrespect being extended to officers and even others who were there. Now, what we don't want to do is change the title of our city as being the reunion capital of the world to being a place where behaviors are just off the chain. Citizens, we've got to do better. Generation X, we have got to do better. Now, how do we do better? If I had the answer, I could probably be a gazillionaire right now. I don't have the answer because it's not just something that is just unique to Port Arthur. We see this happening with this generation of individuals all over the world. But because of this, and we see that there is a need for some intervention, that's what I want to offer today. We have got to, those of us who are mature or those of us that, that maturation has actually caused us to have extended lives, if you will, we need to begin to guide some of our younger generation X individuals on behaviors and how to conduct themselves. I know they say, you know, you've got a kid that's lived to be 27 or 28. It's hard to tell him or her how to act, but you can suggest to them what their behavior should be. If they're intelligent, like I know 99.9% .9 of them are, they're going to listen. Now, everyone out of the class of 2014 was not inebriated. Everyone out of the class of 2014 was not one of those who were fighting. Everyone out of the class of 2014 were not the ones that were causing the problems. But what class has the stigma now? 2014. So this is what we want to work on. And the next thing is this. There was some activity in the city of Port Arthur on last evening that was actually subsequent to the dismissal of the actual class reunion. And in that, there was a fatality. Now, the fatality is still under investigation. But there is actually was fatal. And then there could be others with some other stories. But right now the jury is out on that. So we don't want it said that this, have, first of all, it did not occur at the reunion. I don't even know, we don't even know for sure if these individuals had even been to the reunion. Okay? It just happened to happen subsequent to the reunion here in the city of Port Arthur. Now, because of that, and a good large number of persons, our police department actually uh, uh, solicited the uh, indulgence of, I believe it was Needleland Police and some other surrounding uh, city uh, police officers who were available to help control a large crowd that had gathered on Proctor Street here in Port Arthur. Now, because of that, and while they were controlling the crowd outdoors inside one of the businesses, someone or two individuals decided that they would fire at each other. Those two individuals were struck in the lower portions of their bodies, in their lower extremities, non-life threatening, yet they did fire firearms in there, okay? But again, we aren't sure if those individuals had been to the reunion. So what we don't want to say is the, that the reunion caused this. But I'm trying to make something out here. You see how all of these things begin being connected and their connectivity actually brings on negativity to our great city. And this is what we want 
to actually rid ourselves of. That's why I said that we have got to approach Generation X on just behaviors and how to behave yourself, uh, themselves in these type of situations, in, in, in public, at a, at a party, you know, having a good time, doing those things. We have got to be able to do those things. Now, what we don't want to do is begin to put it out that this gentleman was killed because stuff had happened at the reunion. And I want to offer condolences to the young man's family and, 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 and uh, you know, pray God's blessing that God would actually give them comfort at a time like this. So what those individuals don't need is a lot of gibberish and information about something happening that did not happen the way it did. And as I said, the investigation in his death is still going on, yet there is a block of witnesses who have said that this gentleman may have harmed himself, okay, unintentionally, okay, I don't, they don't think he was intending to harm himself with a firearm, but that is what occurred. So. And then the two gentlemen who were in the place of business where they were either engaged in uh, 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 some or a vocal, I guess a vocal dispute, if you will, and it led to firing uh, at each other from what I've been told. Yet they were shot in the lower extremities and think, be to God, they weren't hit in their femoral area or somewhere like that where, you know, it, the bleeding would not have been able to, uh, if you couldn't stop it. So they, they, they are alive in, in the non-life-threatening uh, uh, type situations. But I came today to let us know that we've got some work to do in Port Arthur, okay? And uh, all cities do, but we have it here and, 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 uh, what I'll be doing in, in, in the next few weeks is trying to put together uh, some clergy, uh, business uh, uh, persons, uh, representatives of the classes, and other elected officials in beginning a dialogue as to how we will approach going forward these class reunions of these younger classes because it is a fact. The 10 year, the 15 year reunions, you know, you're a lot younger, so, you know, your, 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 uh, actions and your, your style of wanting, you know, partying would be totally different from mine at 70, okay? All right? And that's understood. But what we don't want to do is harm the, uh, actual port author image of being the, the reunion capital of the whole world. Historically, you know, we owe it to those people who graduated in the 40s and the 50s who actually began this, this, this tradition in our city. And it was begun under the uh, distinction and the auspices of being joyous type occasions. So we want to keep it like that. We're going to pray to God that we can get it back to that. And maybe the class of 15 and 16 and 17, which my granddaughter is a member of that class, and those, those thereafter, you're going to have some issues even getting facilities that will rent their facility to you so that you can have the, 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 uh, the party because of what occurred last night. And you're going to pay a lot more financially than you have in the past because you're going to have to have more police coverage and other coverages because of what occurred last evening. But let's thank God that it, it, it wasn't anything worse. And uh, again, there were only two arrests made. One arrest was made for public intox at the Civic Center. And then another arrest was made in, uh, in in the downtown area on last evening, I believe, uh, as a result of, of the firing of those weapons. Okay? 
So no matter what any news source would come with or what anyone else would say, I am trying to give it to you the right, right way. Now, the last thing I want to do, and I know I've, I've, I've held you, and I thank you for just, just being attentive, is that I did tell you why I was there. I was there trying to uh, solicit signatures for uh, the petition that I have initiated here in the city of Port Arthur for the consideration of a charter change in this uh, the article in the in the charter that addresses term limits would actually be extended that instead of the mayor and council serving two consecutive three-year terms you would be able to serve three consecutive three-year terms and if uh, you would like to sign that petition if you would believe and I want to just share with you we're about the only city in this area that has the term limits. Guess what? You, the voter, makes the term for anybody that's elected. If you have no desire to have a person serve anymore, you just vote for the other individual or whomever else is running for that office. But we want to allow you to have the opportunity to vote on it in November. So I have until July 16th. And if you have a desire and you can pray and ask God if you should, and I believe God will tell you that you should, you can uh, actually sign the petition by calling my office here and uh, they will give me the information and I get one of my volunteers to come out to you to have you sign it or I have the, the, uh, bat, the, uh, actual petitions physically at Hannah Funeral Home at 3727 Lewis Drive here in Port Arthur. And you can stop by the funeral home in the day from 20, 10 to 5 and sign it and have it done. So we ought to be good on that. And I thank you again for listening to me today. God bless you. God keep you. Look, and let's just keep making Port Arthur the best place we can. And guess what? As I always said, I love you. And you can't do nothing about it. Bam. Goodbye.